Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create 35mm film effect. Okay, so just like usually, let's open uh, our photos and let's open a photo. Okay, so in this photo, we can see here what balance is it's normal, there's no effect yet, and we're going to give it the effect. So first, let's open our light here in the right. So let's drop the exposure here it's not really uh, much just a little bit and let's increase the contrast okay so we can see the it's a bit more dark and um, and a little bit more contrast and we're going to increase the highlights 3 4 and let's drop the shadows a little bit and drop the white to tw minus 24 and black so I'm gonna just increase it to 3 okay so let's go curve here curve and first thing we're going to do here is um, we're going to do the RGB here and create one point here just make it straight again and drop the the, the highlight okay so like this okay and let's go to the red red channel okay in the red channel we are going to drop just a little bit and then we're going to the blue this is gonna give the kind of yellowish green tone to the photo like this okay so let's step down okay so let's move to the color we're going to increase our temperature a little bit just five and let's drop the tint to minus 5 minus 4 okay let's go to the let's go to the the effects let's drop the clarity and dehaze it just minus 6 and I'm going to drop the vignette so it's a little bit dark on the border Okay, and I'm going to, and this is the, the most important part of giving the 35 uh, millimeter film effect. We're going to increase the grain, okay? So for the grain, I think just go to center and increase size and roughness. So you can see here the difference. I think that's all. Okay, we can tap. Okay, we can tap back here and we can see the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. Okay, now it, it looks great. Let's copy the settings. We're going to paste to another photo. In this photo, we're going to try the effect. It, it might not uh, look good because it's different photos, but let's see. Okay. As we can see, it's a little bit like like film effect, right? So, if you like, you can increase the the grain amount more and the roughness, so it will be more okay. So, you can see before and after here, before and after. I'm gonna just switch off the histogram before and after. Okay. Okay, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.